<clears throat> Hi, um, I'm Amy Shannon. Um, I own and operate uh, the review blog, Amy's Bookshelf Reviews. I'm a co-host of a podcast that discusses everything literary. Um, I'm an editor, uh, a writer when I can write. Um, I was an author. Um, and I wanted to discuss um, or share my thoughts on um, banning of books. Um, for centuries, um, books have been banned, they've been burned, um, and it's a way of them, people trying to control uh, what other people write, what other people read. Um, and I personally believe that. Now, I do think that there are some topics, some books that may be inappropriate for um, elementary children or even high school children or middle school, or whatever. Um, and then there are uh, books that are for adults. I write books for adults, um, or I did, and I write stories for adults and I don't think that if you read one of my books to a child that it, it would be appropriate unless it was my poetry or something and I um, I write clean clean books I don't um, they uh, I don't use the f word in them um, actually there's a lot of swear words I don't even use um, but um, if I don't have to swear in it I don't um, that's uh, how I. Um, that's how I write. I have wrote other books under different pen names, and that statement would be totally different if I was talking about the work I did um, when I was using those particular pen names. Um, but that's not what this is about. Um, when I was watching a news story yesterday, um, it kind of hit a nerve with me, and. Whenever I hear stories about book banning or um, people that have burned books in the middle of town square, um, and that has happened, it's not just something they do on TV for drama. Um, it's um, something that goes on for a long time. I believe that people, writers have the right to write whatever they want. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, it could be just for them. Uh, it could be a journal. Um, you know, it could be an evil mastermind writing his manifesto or whatever. Um, you just write what you want. Um, you know, on the reader side, I would not want to be told what I could and could not read. I'm an adult and I can choose the books that I want to read. Um, I review books, so I read a lot of books. Um, I do not read books that pertain, um, that promote hate, bias, racism, um, things like that. But most other books I will read. Um, then, as I was watching this um, new story, a lot of the, I was kind of writing down the titles that I saw in the news because they didn't advertise all the titles. So I was writing down some of the, the titles that I, um, and I looked them up. And then I looked up more, I did more research. Um, what it is, is, a, you know, there are some books even from, that are supposed to be classics from centuries ago that they don't want people to read. So they don't put them in school libraries. Okay, that's fine. Why aren't you putting them in prison libraries? You're not putting them in um, public libraries. There are adult sections and children's sections. Um, so um, then I realized that a lot of the books that are being banned are not just because they have a word in them they don't want to use. They are books um, 
that are about the LGBTQ um, community. Um, many of them are about, you know, coming into their own, um, you know, identifying their um, sexual orientation. Um, these days, uh, unfortunately, some people still feel that they have to hide who they truly are. Um, there are um, books about um, same-sex parents uh, for children. Um, that happens. So why would you want to hide that from someone? A child who has two parents that happen to be of the same sex, you know, they're getting loved and they're going to feel they want to be able to read a book where they can relate to. Um, and then there are a, a few that I, um, I haven't read yet, but I heard about and they're on my list to buy um, that are more adult appropriate. Well, that I can see why you don't want to put that in um, a school. There's a graphic novel. Um, there's a, uh, a book um, that, you know, it, it may be a little more explicit than people want to read. Well, if you don't want to read it, don't. You have the choice to read what you want. You have the choice to interpret what someone is, is writing. These are part of, of freedoms. And I know it doesn't happen all around the world, but I think it's important. Um, that's why instead of just writing, I just, this is something that is really, um, it's an important topic for me um, as a writer, mainly as a reader. I don't wanna to be told what I can and can't write. I believe that every book is, to, is worth reading and every great book is worth finishing. This has been Amy Shannon. Uh, me as a person, not just a book reviewer, but I think it's an important message that needs to get out. Um, if you are an author whose book has been banned, contact me, let me know. If you know of books that have been banned and I haven't quite, um, I'm slowly going to build my list as I purchase them. Um, but I would be glad to read any book that has been banned. Um, and there's probably a reason why it shouldn't be banned. I know there's a reason why it shouldn't be banned because it was written. Not all books are great. Not all authors are the best writers. And the best writers have always had poor reviews as well as great reviews. So if you're a writer, write. If your book has been banned, let me know. I'd be happy to read it. I'd even be happy to discuss, have discussions with, with you about your feelings on how you, your, your writing has changed. So um, you can contact me directly at writeramyshannon at gmail.com and put in the title, Banned Books, and tell me your story, make a recommendation, whatever you want to do. Thank you very much. This has been Amy Shannon. Be safe and be well. And if you're a writer, keep writing.